The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. School for Advanced Studies takes on Miami Palmetto tonight on School Duel. Welcome to School Duel, where the top 20 high schools in South Florida battle it out. Now, the ultimate winners of this academic tournament walk away with a school trophy from Edco, a $1,000 check courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union and Chick-fil-A. So with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. As you see, the second round game matches School for Advanced Studies versus Miami Palmetto High in what is going to be quite a showdown. The winner between the two schools will be moving on to the quarterfinals. So let's hear it for our two competitors. Yes. All right, but wait, there's more. During the show, each student will compete in the Chick-fil-A challenge. Here, the student with the most correct answers will win Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Exciting? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Our first round is called the warning shot. Here it's school versus school, and each question is worth 10 points. Any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, hands on the buzzer and prepare for the warning shot. Your first question deals with locations. This can be seen from outer space. Name, yes, the, Peter? The Great Wall of China. Incorrect, School for Advanced Studies. Name this biological structure off the coast of Australia that is the world's largest coral reef system. Josh? The Great Barrier Reef. Yes, good job. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move on to cities. What city in Massachusetts was named after an American patriot, silversmith, and engraver of the American Revolution? Yes, Josh? Boston. Incorrect. Palmetto? Peter? Revere? Yes. Good job. All right, idioms. According to the common idiom, when someone's life support is turned off, you're said to pull Jack? Pull the plug. Very good. All right, angles. What is the complement of a 12-degree angle? Yes, Alfred? 78 degrees. Good job. All right, football. Bill Peterson and Bobby Bowden both coached at this Tallahassee school. And Colin? Uh, Florida State University. Yes, excellent. All right, let's move on to spelling. Meaning the larva of a butterfly that is long and looks like a worm with legs. Peter? Caterpillar, C-A-T-E-R-P-I-L-L-A-R. -L -L excellent, good job. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I question brought to you by Edco Awards and Specialties. This is where our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and then shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So, here it goes. One of her three Golden Globes came for starring in Joy, while her Oscar came for, yes, Jack? Jennifer Lawrence. That's exactly who I'm talking about. Good job. And since 2015, Lawrence has been the highest paid actress in the world, and her films have grossed over $5.5 billion worldwide. Not too bad, huh? All right, let's move on to fast math. What is the sum of the squares of four and eight? Yes, Alfred? Um, 80. Yes, good job. All right, art. According to New York's Museum of Modern Art, what is a large painting applied to a wall or ceiling? Yes, Jack? Mural. Yes, very good. All right, president. Who was the first person to be a vice president and later become president, Colin? John Adams. Yes. All right, moving on to novels. According to Wikipedia, this Spanish novel about a windmill fighting knight has sold over five, yes, Lucas? Don Quixote. Yes, very good. All right, question about investments. If you own a share of this, you own a tiny part of a business. Yes, Jose? Stock. Yep. All right, time measurement. What year immediately preceded 1 AD? Peter? 2 AD. Incorrect, school for advanced study, Lucas? 1 BC. 
Very good. <laughs> clothing. What unusual item of clothing is worn on the heads of British barristers in courts of law? Lucas. A wig. Yes, very good. All right, activities. The largest one of these ever had over 33,000 pieces that displayed animals of all types when finally put together. Yes, what am I talking about, Jose? Puzzle. Incorrect, Miami Palmetto. Name this type of puzzle, often begun by first connecting its borders together. Michael. Jigsaw puzzle. Yes, very good. Shot round. We have a close game. Miami Palmetto is leading. They have 80 points. School for Advanced Studies has 70. We will be right back with more School Duel after these messages. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program, encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships to team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities, demonstrate a solid work ethic, and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. The first round of action ended with a close game so far. Miami Palmetto is leading. They have 80 points. School for Advanced Studies right behind them with 70 points. Now, before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Hey, I'm Jose. I'm team captain, and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Lucas, and I'm a junior. I'm Colin, and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Tommy, or Joshua, and I'm a senior at SAS, nerdy by nature. I'm David, SAS valedictorian, and I came to win. Yo, we got this. We out here. School for Advanced Studies, go White Tigers! I'm Michael, I'm the team captain, I'm a senior, go Panthers. I'm Alfred, I'm a senior, go Panthers. I'm Jack and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Peter, and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Noah, and I'm a senior. Michael, how does it feel? Yes. This is finally the tallest one. <laughs> Are we gonna win? Uh, uh probably. <laughs> <laughs> M-P-S-H. Go Panthers! All right, let's hear it for both schools. And of course, here at School Duel, we like to shout out all of our educators who we know every day you relentlessly help to educate our youth, so thank you. All right, now that we know everyone, let's go ahead and move on to round two. The Joust, presented by Public Supermarkets. Here, a player from each school competes head-to-head -head with toss-up questions. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school, and all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, it's that time. It's time to joust. We're gonna have Jose and Michael come on down. <laughs> Gentlemen, here's your toss-up question for 10 points. This subject of a poem by Edgar Allan Poe is also the mascot of Baltimore's NFL. Yes, Jose? The Raven. Yes, very good. The following bonus questions deal with naming these birds from clues unrelated to ornithology. 
Bonus question number one. In the Parker Brothers card game with this title, the card with this bird counts 20, the highest. In chess, it's a piece sometimes called a castle. Yes, Colin? The rook? Yes, very good. Here's your second bonus question. Member of the classic band with hits Take It Easy, Lion Eyes, and Hotel Colin? The Eagles. Yes, very good. Bonus question number three. Wallace Stevens wrote a poem about 13 ways of looking at this bird that has 24 of its species baked into a nursery rhyme pie. That would be a blackbird. All right, Lucas, Peter, come on down. It's your turn to doubt. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. During what century was Napoleon Bonaparte the emperor? Yes, Peter. The 19th century. Yes, very good. The following bonus questions deal with Napoleon Bonaparte. Bonus question number one. In the Battle of Borodino, Napoleon defeated Russian troops defending what major city? Yes, Peter. St. Petersburg. Incorrect. That'd be Moscow. Bonus question number two. Name the small Belgian town near which the Allies gained a decisive victory over Napoleon's forces in 1815. Jack. Waterloo. Yes. Very good. All right, your third bonus question. Napoleon was captured by the British and imprisoned on what bleak island in the mid-Atlantic where he died six years later? Peter. Uh, St. Elba. Incorrect, it's St. Helena. All right, Alfred, Josh, come on down. It's your turn to joust. All right, gentlemen, here's your toss-up question and it's worth 10 points. Traditionally, at what inning of a baseball game do spectators stand up and stretch? Yes, Alfred? Fifth. Incorrect, Josh? Fourth. Incorrect, that would be the seventh. Don't go anywhere, I have another question for you. What letter on a baseball scorecard indicates a strikeout? Yes, Alfred? O. Incorrect, Josh? S. Oh, I'm sorry, the answer is K. All right, we're gonna have Colin and Jack come on down. It's your turn to joust. <laughs> Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. Plaque, a substance largely consisting of bacteria, produces acids that eat into what visible hard surface? Yes, Jack. Enamel. Very good. The following bonus questions all deal with bacteria. Bonus question number one. Bacteriologists use what shallow cylindrical glass dishes with loose covers to grow? Alfred? Petri. Yes, very good. Bonus question number two. Most bacteria are rod-shaped, spiral-shaped, or of what other shape? Alfred. Spherical. Incorrect, that would be round. Bonus question number three. The process using heat at temperatures high enough to kill non-spore-forming bacteria was named after whom? Jack. Pasteur. Very good, excellent. All right, that buzzer means the end to the joust. We do have Palmetto leading, they have 130 points. School for Advanced Studies has 100 points. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. From elementary to high school, Broward County Public Schools Magnet Programs provide extra opportunities and experiences for students in specific fields of study. International Baccalaureate, Military Academy, Montessori, Performance and Visual Arts, Sciences, and many others. The programs are free. Shop early for your child's education. Apply online today at BrowardSchools.com. Broward County Public Schools Magnet Programs. Missing school? you're missing out. Regular attendance equals education, and education equals success. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Welcome back.
back to School Duel, where local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's School Duel champion. Today's game has School for Advanced Studies competing against Miami Palmetto High. And over the break, the judges made a correction to the score. They are awarding Palmetto with an extra 10 points for correctly answering spherical. The current score, Miami Palmetto has 140 points. School for Advanced Studies has 100 points. It is now time for the rapid fire round. During this round, schools receive a category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. Questions are worth 10 points, and if any questions are answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. Now, since School for Advanced Studies is trailing, they get to pick their category. Today's choices are starts with J or starts with K. So which category would you like, School for Advanced Studies? We're going with uh, starts with K. Starts with K. All right, schools, here comes the rapid fire. All right, School for Advanced Studies starts with K. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter K. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer quickly or the judge will move you on. Beginning with University of Tennessee is in this city. Knoxville. The first meeting for a big project or the first play in a football game. Kickoff. Loose robe worn by Japanese women. Kimono. A journalist does this to a story if it's not published after it's written. The original captain in Star Trek. Kirk. Canadian area that saw a gold rush in the late 1800s. She plays Becca in the Pitch Perfect movies. Anna Kendrick. This U.S. state is said to have bled in the mid-1850s. Kansas. What a soldier is doing by peeling potatoes or boiling water, two words. Small citrus fruit about the size of an olive. Uh, kumquat. Good job, School for Advanced Studies. You got through all of your questions. You only missed three. So let's see, Palmetto, do you know the answer to these? A journalist does this to a story if it's not published after it's written. Jack? Kill. Yes. Canadian area that saw a gold rush in the late 1800s. Peter? The Klondike. Yes, and what a soldier is doing by peeling potatoes or boiling water. Two words. Uh, Michael? Keeping camp. Incorrect, it's kitchen patrol. All right, Palmetto, here's your category. It starts with J. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter J. Each question is worth 10 points. Remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. Beginning with person who cleans a building often late at... Janitor. Pale green gemstone, popular in Asia. Jade. Usain Bolt's home country. Jamaica. First name of composers, Bach and Strauss. Johan. In a nursery rhyme, she came tumbling after. Jill. To illegally cross in the middle of a street. Jaywalk. He succeeded Moses as leader of the Israelites. Jacob. He plays Wolverine in film. Hugh Jackman. To start a car's dead battery from another car's battery. Jumpstart. Retired Yankees shortstop who won five championships. Derek Jeter. Very good. You got through all of your questions. You only missed one. School for Advanced Studies. Do you know the answer to? He succeeded Moses as leader of the Israelites. Jose? Judah. It's Joshua. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that buzzer means the end to the rapid fire round. We do have Palmetto leading. They have 250 points. School for Advanced Studies has 170 points. But don't go anywhere. We are just going to take a short break, and then we'll be back for the final showdown. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program, encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships to team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities, demonstrate a solid work ethic, and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education.
Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. School for Advanced Studies, current score 250 to 170. It is now time for the final showdown. This is the last round. The schools will go against each other again with toss up questions, but this time these questions are now worth 20 points. And just a reminder if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. So this is fourth spot in the quarterfinals. It is time for the final showdown. <laughs> First question deals with planets. Which terrestrial planet is closest to the sun? Peter. Mercury. Capitals. Name the state capital whose main government buildings include a Federal Reserve Bank and the Confederate White House and where the Virginia Statue for Religious Freedom was Richmond. passed. Richmond. Christmas. What popular Christmas song contains the lyrics, Come They Told Me pa -pa pum pum Jose. Little Drummer Boy. Numbers. If you convert this type of number to a decimal, the result never repeats and yet never terminates. Give this adjective. Yes, Alfred? Irrational. Movies. The General Mills serial giveaway tied in with this 2016 film included plastic toys of Chloe the Cat and Duke the Dog. Identify this animated movie. Yes, Peter? Pets. Incorrect. School for Advanced Studies. Identify this animated movie that includes the voices of Kevin Hart as Snowball. Yes, Jose? The Secret Life of Pets. Mythology. Who is the Greek mythical being condemned to eternally bear the world on his shoulders? Lucas. Atlas. Sports. What Winter Olympic sport combines the aesthetics of bowling with the score scheme of, yes, Lucas? Curling. Coins. From 1870 to 1893, coins with a CC mint mark were produced by a mint in what Nevada city? Lucas. Carson City. Bowl cities. Previously known as the Tangerine Bowl, what city hosts Yes, Jack. Miami. Incorrect. School for Advanced Studies, previously known as the Tangerine Bowl, what city hosts college football's annual Citrus Bowl? Lucas. Orlando. Historic women. Identify this woman, nicknamed the Iron Lady by the Russians. Lucas. Um, Margaret Thatcher. Factors. What is the greatest common factor of 78 and 130? Alfred. 13. Incorrect. School for Advanced Studies. 26. Terms. What biology term describes nasty software that attaches itself to an existing program? Jose? Virus. Mexico. Name this man who called himself the Napoleon of the West when captured by Sam Houston. Colin? San, uh, Santa Ana. Host. Name this host of the 2016 Tony Awards who has now taken over the late night CBS time slot occupied by Craig Ferguson. Colin? James Corden. Plays. Name the Shakespeare play that gave us the line, how sharper than a serpent's tooth it is to have a thankless child. <laughs> Judges, Lucas. Macbeth. Incorrect, Palmetto. <laughs> Alfred. King Lear. U.S. history. He served as a New York senator and the third vice president. Name this founding father who killed Alexander Hamilton in a duel. Aaron, Aaron Burr. Running. To the nearest mile, how many miles make up a 5K? Peter? Uh, 3 point, 3, 3 3.1. Lakes. The African nations of Niger, Nigeria, and Cameroon all border on what lake that shares its name with the other country? Yes, Lucas? Lake Chad. Music. A typical violin has how many strings? Four. Supreme Court. In 1896, the Supreme Court said it was okay to have separate Alfred. Plus E.B. Ferguson. Broadway. What Broadway musical includes the songs Defying Gravity and The Wizard Jack? Wicked. Oceans. Complete this sentence from the wiki book entry, Earth Science, Ocean Life. The most abundant life form in the ocean are these. Most, yes, Michael? Plankton. Amendments. Oh, there's my buzzer. And that sound brings an end to the second round school goal game. As School for Advanced Studies comes from behind, going on to winning. amazing game they're ending with 390 points now school for advanced studies you know what this means right 
This win puts you into the quarterfinals. Congratulations. <laughs> That's right. Now, this also brings an end to the Chick-fil-A challenge, and today's winner is, drum roll, please, <laughs> Lucas. <laughs> Lucas on your Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. At this time, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible, and of course, you at home for watching. And don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv, where you can find out more about the schools involved, watch past shows, and even compete for prizes at home. And please remember to use hashtag School Duel to contact us through social media. But most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 7 p.m. as defending champion Suncoast High takes on Park Vista High in another Another great second round match. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union.